and what is going on everybody, I'm Seagull, he does do here, and today we're playing some more CSR Classics. Um, right now, I've been waiting for, to make this video, because I've been building this Dodge Super B. We're gonna try to do this, which actually makes me a lot of money. I didn't even realize it was $21,000. Alright. Is this the only one? Like, is it only dodge? Because if it's not, I'm gonna be super mad. I forgot how loud this game is. I swear to gosh, if, uh, if it's not just dodge, if it's like all the other ones, I'm gonna be upset. Nope, I'm going to have to miss out on that one. Nope, still dodge. I might just blast through this video quick, actually, so I might want to find something to talk about. I had a topic in my head, not too long ago. Oh. Uh. Okay, so, as you already saw, the color of... Oh, well, most likely the color in the thumbnail is this red. Right now, I don't want the red. I want to make it black. Actually, give me one second. Uh, I was gonna make it look like the... Look like the char Dodge Charger from Burn Notice, but he has like a modified hood and he doesn't have a spoiler. Oh no, he no, he doesn't have a spoiler. His tail lights are also different. Man, that sucks. Never mind, disregard what I said. Ooh, that yellow looks nice. Oh, by the way, I didn't show you guys modifying the. Ooh, that blue though. I didn't show you guys modifying this car. So I'm gonna just go through all the colors real quick. Red, like you saw, yellow, then dark blue. Ooh, actually, that's pretty. That's pretty pretty. And you got green. That's pretty ugly, actually. And you got the black, which actually doesn't even match his, because his is like really deep and dark. And you got the white. And you got the blue. You got that purple, the brown, and the orange. Give me one second. Sorry for the interruption. I just had a coughing fit because I am sick. I am very sick. And it sucks. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you this. Not the paint. Alright. Nope, that's the wrong one. This one. It actually looks a lot better in red. But, that's just... I like the little touches they add to these specific cars. Like the Super B one. I think it looks really nice. It, I have a Hot Wheels like it. It's red. That's probably why I painted it red in the beginning. But it's red and it has that and it just looks really, really good. <sighs> Sucks that I can't make the burn notice car though. And a little bit of that funny guess. This thing's quick. I mean, not nearly as quick as my Roadrunner, but... Ooh, hey, I didn't know 10, but old. By the way, yes, I do play this game a lot. And I mean a lot. Like, any time I get the notification, I usually just drop what I'm doing and I, you know, play it. There are times in class, especially, like, certain classes where, like, it's too easy for me. I usually just, um, just sit there and just... Whenever I get the notification, I make sure the notification goes off in that class. So, I usually just sit there and just tap the gas, and then just shift every once in a while. Because it's like one of the easiest games to play, if you mute it. Why are these all challenges, by the way? Like, does no one like this generation of Charger? By the way, yes, this is a Dodge Charger. It is a 1971 to 1973, oh no, 74, Dodge Charger Super B. 
There's also the SE version that is actually probably the one they used in Burn Notice. By the way, if you if y'all didn't grow up watching Burn Notice, go Google Burn Notice real quick. Just or at least Google uh, Burn Notice Dodge Charger. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna finish the ladder races in tier 5, so I might not even do more of the of the um <clears throat> the dodge thing right now, or at least in this video. This video is kind of like a bridge to the next video. I don't know. A lot of uh, there's this one person that really likes these CSR Classics videos, so I try to make them as much as possible since I do like the game, but it's just really difficult to make these videos due to like the money thing and all i mean it says i have three million don't get me wrong but if i just i try to keep over three million in game just for the simple fact that if i have the mentality of like oh i have three million i can spend it however i want i'm gonna spend it all and then i'm not gonna have you know much money so i try to keep it over three million or at least yeah i try to keep it over three million if i ever get into two millions well I actually haven't gotten up to that point yet, but I try to keep it over 3 million just for the simple fact that I don't want to waste all my money. I mean, it seems like I waste all my money buying all these cars in game and all, but the reason there's such a big gap between one CSR Classics video and the next is because I'm just sitting there grinding away at this game. Like, as much as I can. I've even, I've tried multiple tricks trying to get, you know, free gas. Like, there was this one chick that used to work on my phone. I don't know if it... At one point, it didn't want to work, but I don't know. I don't know if I was doing it wrong. But if you go into your settings, and you change the time to two hours ahead, it'll just automatically refill your gas. And then, you, and then once you, like, open the game, and it shows that you have full gas, you just go back into your settings, change it to normal time, do your races, and then... Do it over again, change the time, go back to the game. Ooh, this is challenging. Oh, don't tell me the next one's gonna be hard. Oh, that's gonna suck. I didn't even read that! Oh, I, I, I saw the orange button and I didn't read it. Well, that sucks. I just wasted the gas. Dang. Let's see if he re- Look, If he doesn't say it again, I'm gonna be upset. Because I wasted the gas. Knowing my lucky- Ooh, he is gonna say it. You made it all this way to the tier 5 semis. You come a long way, kid. Just two more to go if you want to rule this ladder. I do. That's for sure. I'm fully modified and there's no tuning in this game, so I know I'm gonna win this race. So close you can taste it, right? Just one more race to reach the very top of the ladder. Watch me, like, fail this race. Not have enough gas to do anything else. Oh, this is gonna suck. $200,000 for this race? I'm sorry, what? You're almost there, kid. One last push to be at the very top of the f tier 5 ladder. This is probably going to be a short episode, and that sucks. Alright, let's see if he pulls. Or she pulls. No, 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 no. Yes! I genuinely thought I was going to lose that one. I genuinely thought I was going to lose that one. Alright. Ladder final. I still remember when you first came here. Who would have thought the, that Greenhorn kid would make it this far? Awesome. 
well, hey, at least my video is over 10 minutes, even though I'm not monetized. So why do I care about 10 minutes? Because I want to make content for y'all. Do I really want to wait 7 minutes? I don't want to fill my tank because I'm not going to be using it. You know what? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Real quick, you know what? No, because I want to save this money for other builds, like that Nova right there. This Hemi Cuda. You know, I'm just going to go over cars I want to build in future videos. So, this GT500 I need to finish. I started it in a video. This Falcon I need to do. I was going to finish Tier 5 in this Falcon, because it was 4-door, and I wanted to name my videos like the 4-door killer or something like that. But I didn't. Uh, I think the Challenger's fully built. No, it's not. Is it just the Super B and the Fire Yes, it is. Alright, well, I got this GT350 that I was going to do. Can't modify the 300SL. Because it's not mine, it's Lord Aziz's. So, it's already fully modified. This GTX Hemi I want to do in a video. But I don't want to make it, like, soon. Because I need to finish those Dodge thingies. And then I'll do a couple episodes. And then I'll do this one. Alright. Because it's too similar to the Dodge Super B. So, I don't, want to, I don't want people to get it mixed up. You know, people who don't know muscle cars as much as, you know, I do. Or some of you do. The Coronet I finished. Is this one finished? I mean, it's off by one point, so I don't know. There might be like a nitrous upgrade I need to do, something like that. The Ford GT I need to finish. I know I started this one. I think the other one I didn't start. I think it was this one I started. Well, I, I know I started this one. It's on my to-do list to finish it. But, I don't know. I don't think I started the other one. The Rebel Machine. This is one of my favorite muscle cars in general, so... You know, I need to make a video on that. The Superbird. Different from the Super B. Still Dodge. Uh, everyone knows the Superbird. Actually, I think this was Plymouth. No, because Dodge is the Daytona. Plymouth is the Superbird. It's actually closer to the Roadrunner than it is the Charger. Because it is a Roadrunner with, you know, Daytona styling. The Ferrari California. This one's weird. The only reason I bought it is because it was cheap. And it was named California. I don't like Ferraris. If, if you know me, you know I hate Ferraris. Just for the simple fact that I thought Ezio Ferrari was an absolute D-bag. So, that's, I, I, hate, I hate Ferraris. That's why I'm a Lamborghini guy, even though I'm not really a supercar guy. But if I had to choose one, Lamborghini over Ferrari. I just bought it because it's California and it's cheap. Because I live in California. Even though I hate it because it's always hot. But it's also perfect weather, because there's no snow, there's no tornadoes, all we get is earthquakes. And that's rare, except for recently, which is scary. The Lamborghini Espada. A lot of people call this ugly, I think it looks pretty nice, but that's also because, it's, you know, I like weird things. Like one of my dream cars is literally a Kia Safia and an 80s Buick. Not the Grand National, I mean, I'd love the Grand National, but it doesn't have to be a Grand National, it could be a T-Type. Which is just a detuned Grand National. I mean, not quite. There's different changes here and there, but just to put it in perspective. For people who don't really know much about the Grand National and the Regal in general. 350 GT. This was basically Lamborghini's version of just the 250 that Ferrari made. But add an extra 100, you know, just to give a finger to Ezio. And by that finger, I mean the bird. The middle finger. The 2000 GT. I think I bought this with gold by accident. I don't think I meant to buy this, but I did. But it's here, so I gotta make a video on it. Oh no, I bought the Celica by accident, which is coming up soon. 300 SL. This is the one I can modify, and this is the one I'm going to modify. Uh, a lot of 350 pointers. Uh, this one's not. Oh, it's fully modified, I think. It's just not 350. It's weird. I need to finish this one. This one was my rat rod truck that I was building. 
and I uh, just never got around to de-rat rotting it. So I gotta do that. This is the one I accidentally bought with gold. I was looking at it and I accidentally pressed the gold thing and it's so easy to accidentally do that. So that's the final one on my list because I know I finished all the tier 1 cars. Right? Yes I did. Except for, I know this uh, DB2 is fully modified. I know that for a fact. It's just weird because it's only 250 and the other ones are 251. So, I don't know. I have 44 out of the 110 cars. Hmm. Dang. Alrighty then. Why am I on this car? Uh... I think the next episode is probably going to be the Celica. Just because it's going to be the cheapest one to do. Or maybe the blue chip. I don't know, that one might be the easiest one to do. Because it's going to be the cheapest and it's going to be able to give me a little bit more freedom to modify it and stuff like that. So, anyways. If you liked the video, leave a like. If it oh, actually, wait. Uh, I'll just leave it for the next video. I don't remember what I was going to talk about. I am going to end the video here, though. Like I said, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked or disliked the video. Sorry about me being all winded and stuff like that. I am sick. I can barely breathe as it is. And it is currently really hot in here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked or disliked the video. In the comment section, tell me... Uh, talk to me. Sorry, I keep saying that other thing. Talk to me. Because I love giving thumbs up and hearts and positive and all-around good replies to positive, supportive, and all-around good comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite mean and I'm all about spreading positivity. If you want positive content, go down to my Twitter. It's in the description. You'll find a lot of positive content there. Ooh. I'm sorry about that, but look at all five of those posters just in the background. Just trophies. Dang. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll never react. Oh, no, I already did that one. I'm in the description bar now. Above the Twitter in the description, two Instagram accounts. Instagram number one is my main for myself for the channel, so if you want to keep up to date with me or the channel, go follow that one. Number two is automotive stuff. You're on this video. You like cars. Hopefully you like trucks, but if you don't, there's rarely ever truck content. But you'll find something there you like. Go follow it if you like a lot. Oh. I hope you like a lot of the content and hit that follow button because it does help. Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post every other day, but not as it sounds, so that's what you're going to need the bell icon for. Hope you like the video, and thanks for watching.